When a plane crashes, the wreckage may be twisted, burned and unrecognizable. But that's just the start of a long and intense investigation. So what exactly happens after a plane crash? First comes the emergency response. Rescuers rush in to save lives, secure the area and prevent any further danger. Then the investigators take over to begin a detailed forensic process. Their top priority is finding the black box, the fly data recorder and cockpit voice recorder which hold vital clues to what went wrong. Next, every piece of the wreckage is photographed tagged and mapped. This helps investigators reconstruct the crash not digitally but physically. In major crashes, the plane is often partially reassembled in a secure hangar like a massive 3D puzzle. Take the case of TWA Flight 800. A short circuit ignited fuel vapors in the center wing tank, causing a mid-air explosion. Investigators painstakingly reconstructed the wreckage to pinpoint the exact cause. And that reconstruction was used as a training tool for over two decades until it was decommissioned in 2021. In the case of AI-171, depending on what the fly data and voice recorders reveal, a full reconstruction may not be necessary, investigators say. The importance of wreckage varies by accident, say investigators. For Malaysia Airlines flight MH17 shot down over eastern Ukraine in July 2014, it was crucial reconstruction of the nose revealed clear sharpness damage from a Russian-made missile. But the planes are never rebuilt to fly again. Occasionally, wreckage stays in place as memorials or is preserved if significant. Example parts from Lockerwise Pan Am 103 have been stored for legal investigative office. But no, planes don't get a second life. But the information they carry helps save countless others. Every bolt, every panel, every second of audio, it all helps to make aviation safer.